Lieutenant to Golden Mayer's brilliant young comedian, a gentleman who, if you read this month's American Home magazine, needs no further introduction, the star of our Raleigh show, Red Skelton. <laughs> Thank you very much, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you, Truman? Hello, Red. Say, what's new on the sponsor? Are you still entertaining him? Yeah, we sure had fun last week. You know, the hunting season's on, so I took him way up in the woods on a hunting trip with Fibber McGee. Uh -huh. Boy, what cooperation. <laughs> there was Fibber smoking Raleigh cigarettes and me wiping my gun down with Johnson's wax. <laughs> uh -huh. I was kind of hoping Bob Hope would have gone along so I could brush my teeth. <laughs> Does Mr. Raleigh like to go on hikes, Red? Oh, sure, he loves it. After the first 20 miles, he started to get awful heavy, so I made him walk. <laughs> you really roughed it, huh, Red? Oh, you should have seen us, Truman. We camped out overnight, and it was really dark and lonesome, too. Uh -huh. And right in the middle of the night, a great big grizzly bear came over and started licking the sponsor's hand. What happened? Oh, he just laughed. He says, please, Red, I picked up your option. Go to sleep. <laughs> Mr. Skelton, I well, stopped in to return your shotgun. Well, thanks a lot, sir. Wonderful. Say, how was your hunting trip? Any luck? Yes, sir. Say, uh, do you like roast venison? Yes, sir. Well, come on over for supper. We got boiled game warden. <laughs> <laughs> Say, you know, wonderful. I'm not sure, but I think Mr. Raleigh kept taking pot shots at me. Well, weren't you sure? No, he kept telling me those little holes in my hat were from moth. <laughs> 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 He wasn't taking pot shots at me. I took a shot at a pot once. <laughs> you did, Ozzy? Yeah, but I missed her. You know, Mr. Skelton, Mr. Riley, show is some cook to yeah. take on a hunting trip. Ain't yeah, he cooked something for us to eat, Brad. Oh, he did? What was it, Brad? Uh, don't ask me. What was it, wonderful? I don't know, but I think he's got the answer to the rubber shortage. <laughs> about our hunting trip. Say, Red, I've always wondered why hunters always wear those little red caps on their heads. Oh, that's easy. Do you see my left ear? Nope. That's why. <laughs> say, Red, while you were there, did you covey for quail? What? I say, did you covey for quail? Look, Truman, we were up in the woods, not strolling along Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> You know, the, the sponsor brought along something, a little bottle for snake bites. He did, huh? Did it work? I don't know. We couldn't find any snakes to bite. <laughs> what else happened, Red? <laughs> well, everything was all right until Mr. Raleigh uh, sent out his uh, de uh, decoys for ducks. Oh, know? how many did he have? One. After three hours, I sunk. <laughs> <laughs> you know, those ducks are pretty smart. How do you mean, Red? Well, a sky rider came along and wrote root beer in the sky. <laughs> and one duck kept following him and changing it to seven up. <laughs> Did you bag? None. I fired 18 times at one duck, and finally he turned around and he says, Hey, cut it out, will you? I feel a draft. <laughs> hey, wonderful. What happened to you on your trip, huh? Well, I had a very unfortunate experience with a little black animal with a white stripe down its back. <laughs> oh, skunk. <laughs> oh, come now, Mr. Skelton. That's not the right attitude. No, no. The animal is called a skunk. You know, there's something I'd like to know. Why do they call a skunk a skunk? Did you ever smell one? What else could they call it? <laughs> I beg your pardon, mister. Is this the lost and found? You're in the right place, sister. What did you leave around? I left my heart at the stage door canteen. I left it there with a handsome marine. I kept on serving donuts and coffee piping hot. He kept on eating donuts. And then I noticed him looking my way. And I could tell he had something to say. He gave my hand a gentle squeeze and said, Could I have some more donuts, please? Oh, that wonderful night at the stage door canteen. 
Butch McHugh from 10th Avenue was returning to camp one day. While on leave, he had lost his hat. And here's what he had to say. I left my hat at the stage door canteen. I parked it there with a movie siren. I used to go to Roseland and play a dime a dance. Here I had fun for nothing with movie stars and debutantes. I guess the glamour was too much for me. But it was way every hour of KP. If I could have just one more chance, I'd gladly lose my shirt and vest. was Harriet Hilliard sung by Ozzie Nelson and Roche O'Jay. <laughs> uh, now that the football season is in full swing, we go behind the ski uh, scene, scheme, <laughs> scene and look in on the people who make football what it is. First we have Clem, the fellow from the country. He's taking Daisy June to the game. <laughs> football game, boy, am I tired. I voted 22 times today. I don't know who I voted for, but they can't say he stole the election. Brother, he paid for every vote. Hey. Well, it sure is a long walk to Daisy June's house and gets longer every day. Well, I got a girl in Calumet, soon. A, B, C, do, 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 do. Go back to school so I can finish that song. Hey, hello, Clem. Well, dee 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 dee. Hey, are you ready to go to the football game? Everybody will be yelling for me, you know. Better hurry. Here, I bring you something. Oh, okay, I'm a sweater. Mm -hmm. Turtleneck? Mine does. Does yours? <laughs> in your spare time, why don't you knit something for the boys in the service? Well, they made me stop. I got a letter from the war department, and my socks have crippled three divisions. <laughs> hey, did you vote today? Yeah, I looked all over the ballot for Roosevelt's name, but it wasn't there. <laughs> Why, well, he wasn't running today. He wasn't? How'd that happen? <laughs> <laughs> Going to the football game? Well, boy, really nice time. Sam, Sam, what are you doing? A hopping on a pogo stick? No, I ain't got no pogo stick. I made a mistake this morning. A mistake? Yeah, I put both feet in the same shoe. <laughs> where we carved our initials on, remember? Yeah, how could I forget it? It took me two weeks to get the bark out of my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's real nice of you to take me to the football game. You know Give me a kiss. No, that, that's kid stuff. Oh, come on, give me a kiss. No, that's kid stuff. Well, here's a kiss anyway. Hey, them kids have fun, don't they? <laughs> Clem, I didn't even know you knew how to play football. Sure, I played four years at Vassar. Vassar's a girl school. Girl? I thought they said a school for squirrels. <laughs> Boy, I played rough, too. What scrimmages? What scrimmages? Is football a hard game? You know, I should say, you see my cauliflower ears? Well, that's nothing. A lot of people got cauliflower ears. Cream? <laughs> Learn 
listening to Red Skelton. We'll be right back right after this. You play football? Yeah, boy, I was really good. Boy, I was the best football player Harvard ever had. You played for Harvard? Nope, Yale. <laughs> Well, you don't look like a Yale man to me. No, no. You see that hole in my head? Yep. Well, someday I'm going to have a key made for it. <laughs> well, let's hurry, Daisy June. I'm the most needed man at this game today. Well, Tim, if you're going to play football, you better take off that baseball cap. I ain't wearing a baseball cap. That's the way my mother cuts my hair. <laughs> well, here we are at the football stadium. Boy, a lot of people here, ain't there? Howdy, Miss Daisy June. You taking your dog for a walk? <laughs> I ain't no dog. Hey, if you weren't such a little guy, I'd pin your ears back. Don't let my size bother you, Clem. Go ahead and pin my ears back. I dare you. And I dare you, too, Clem. Just my luck. I ain't got no pins on me. <laughs> Well, what am I doing here? Well, Cam says he's going to be the most important man at this game today. Are you in good shape? Sure am, boy. Just look at my chest. Mm, very nice. Now put it on and let's see how it looks. <laughs> oh, fiddle paddle poodle. I ain't got no time to talk to you. I got to go in the locker room, DJ. I'll be right back, though. Yeah, uh, Clem, there you are. You're late. Get yes. your uniform. Okay. Well, men, today's a big day for the big kill. Mm -hmm. I want you to go in there and give them all you got. See? Okay. Looks like a tough mom out yeah, there. Yeah. Well, let them know you're in the no, stadium. Now, get on out. No, I don't. Well, how do, you, how do I look in my uniform, baby? Why, Clem, I thought you said you was going to be important at the game today. Well, ain't I? Hot dog, peanut, popcorn. <laughs> 